Hi, welcome to Learning As We Go. This is part two of the Day in the Life of series, and we are talking about math today. So math is one of those subjects, um, the other one being language arts, that are extremely fundamental in our homeschool because they help other subjects become easier. And math specifically will help with science and especially cooking, things like that, especially if you get into that kind of stuff. My cat's making his entrance to this video, I see. Um, anyway, so we're going to talk about the resources that we use that are from the thinking tree and the resources that I use outside of the thinking tree. We do a minimum of five pages of math every single day, and they kind of get to decide what books that they want to use, uh, do that math out of. If one of them is having troubles with, say, division or fractions, or are they learning a new topic, whether it be getting into geometry or fractions or something to that effect, then we're going to focus on that for the whole entire week. Okay, but for the most part, those five pages, the minimum of five pages, are theirs to choose from, from their math books that they have available. And I don't have too many for them. Um, I'd say that they each have probably one, two, three, about five that they can that they can utilize. And I find that giving them those choices helps. If I give them one book only, I find that for my kids, they get bored. So if I give them a few options, that's less likely to happen. So let's get right into it. These are the three books that we utilize from the thinking tree and they have a ton of books that they've created and if you're not familiar with them please check out www.funschoolingbooks.com and see what they have to offer we use their books so much in our homeschooling um, these are the three that we have for math so this is the multiplication games math mysteries and 100 numbers so my kids are going to be grades 5, 3, and 1 come September. So my grade 1 and grade 3 students are going to be each having one of these. The 100 numbers has your multiplication table, and it just asks for them to do all sorts of different things throughout of it, whether you be, this one is uh, color all numbers with 5s or zeros color every box with an odd number, color all numbers with fives, and then as you get further on, it wants you to write them in. Um, color every box with zeros, all sorts of stuff. And then as you get further into it, there's all sorts of little extra parts, just like the today's date. Um, and then I saw another, oh, right there. Where you've got some lines. Okay, and you can use that in any way you want. And then there's beautiful art throughout of it. So that's that one. Math Mysteries, all three of my kids each have one of these. And they can each use it in a different way. Because, uh, do you remember those books that you got to choose your own adventure? Where it was like, go to page, whatever, if you want them to do this. Or go to back, you know, remember those? Those were so cool. Um, well, this is basically the math version. Okay, so the kids get to choose the numbers that they want to utilize and then they just figure out the equation based on those numbers. So for example, and there's four different, there's addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So for example, uh, pick three numbers. Allie, Randy, and Brock are running in a relay race. If Allie runs X amount of meters, so then in this one you put a number, whatever number you want, Randy runs Y meters and Brock runs Z meters, how many meters will they run all together? and then you figure it out based on the numbers you chose. So for that reason right there, it can be used by multiple ages at the same time. Um, my younger child will have smaller numbers, my older child will have bigger numbers. Awesome. <laughs> and then this is multiplication games. My oldest will be using this one and we're kind of hoping that my son, because he's really good at math, is gonna have one of these too, but we're kind of gonna hold off until about the halfway mark of the school year. This one is just the multiplication table, filling it in completely, whereas with 100 numbers, uh, so you can see the difference. In 100 numbers, the numbers are always there. Whereas here, they are not. So this is like the big sister to this, okay? So again, this is just, it's a really thick one too, which is nice, and it's constantly completing the multiplication table on the one side, and on the other side, it's logic to complete a puzzle of multiple different things, okay? So those are the three from 
uh, the thinking tree that we have. And since they're doing minimum five pages a day, they can choose to do, you know, my daughter could choose to do one or two pages out of here, and then she could do a page out of Math Mysteries, and then she could grab from one of her other books, as long as it's a minimum of five pages. So now here's some of the other products that I have. We are Canadian, so we have a lot of Canadian resources, uh, but not strictly that because for whatever reason, it's hard to find Canadian resources and we use, uh, we have different currency, we have all these different things. So when you're using American books, it can be really difficult, but I do have some in here. Uh, so these are two that we had used last year. I really like books like this where it's specific to similar kinds of math. This one being addition and subtraction, and then this one being uh, division and multiplication. I like that it's strictly on those because it really makes it, uh, it hones you in on those two things. So these were awesome, awesome, awesome to have. Other things that we have, um, we've utilized jump math in previous years. Uh, we might go back to jump math this year. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of writing. There's a lot of word problems in jump math, which is fine. But my kids would get, um, and it's a lot of repetition. And I find, as good as repetition is, I find that with jump math, um, there's not as much honed in on specific subjects as there should be. So like there's a lot on, say if I even have here, so spheres, cylinders, and cones. There'll be about 10 pages of that in a row, but the, nowhere in here is there going to be, you know, 10 pages in a row where it's just math, uh, uh, just say addition, or just subtraction, or just multiplication. It's all mixing it in kind of like this. And so for my son, who is ahead in math, this is too boring. Whereas if I go up a book, it's too much. So there's really no heavy medium. So I love these books. Um, I know we'll go back to them one day, but right now I don't think we're prop I don't think we're going to use them this year. We're going to try out Nelson for my oldest. This one is it's a bit different. If I could show you, um, bear with me for a second here. So see, in jump math. Everything is a bit smaller and they cram a bunch of stuff into one page. Whereas Nelson, they don't do that. They don't cram so much into one page so they can really focus on it, which I think is going to help. So we're going to be doing Nelson this year for my oldest. My grade three guy is going to have this one. He really likes math and he's good at it. Um, so, and I love the colors. He loves colors. So a math book with color was just something I knew would, would be something good for him. He, he doesn't color himself as much, but he loves seeing the color. So, um, look at that. That's fun. Okay. So that's his math book. And then my grade one student this year, um, she is going to be starting off the year with those two, um, these two here that I have from the thinking tree that I showed you already going into grade one. She's going to start with those. And then as the year progresses, she's going to end up with a book very similar to this um, on her map. Other things that we have that we use. Just fun little ones that you can pick up at the store. These are just little fillers. Like they're not thick, uh, thick books at all. Um, basically they're review points. So this is just a grade four one to kind of show you. This gets into all sorts of stuff. It's just a, it's just a, a, a filler. Um, I like these kinds of things. Not that we do a lot of tests in the house, but these are nice because it's a one page deal and it's on a variety of different subjects instead of mixing it all in together. So I really like stuff like that. So grabbing these and pulling them from them like once a, once a week or so, that's a nice thing to do. This is a, a money one. We have a few different money things. I actually have 
Gotta love it when the phone rings in the middle of a really long video. Anyway, back to where I was. Um, this was what I was going to show you. This is another money thing that I have because I was just showing you um, this one. Yeah, this one, the Canadian money activities. I'm sure there's American versions of these. And then there's this one, which is, uh, it's with Canadian money. I'm sure there's American version of this one as well. Um, but it's just really nice. If I can show you the back here. And it's, it's a fun way of, of learning money. So this is just an added thing that we'd throw in there and play whenever we wanted to. And this one, I don't think I showed you. Again, it's just different things with money. Okay. Um, then we also have these speed trial books. These things are fun. And so I'd say probably maybe once every couple of weeks, we'll pull one of these out and do it. And so uh, it's just a one page thing. They go as fast as they can and try and get as many right. And so my kids actually have fun with these, even though it's, it's like a test. But they enjoy trying to see how fast they can go and how many they can get right. So you can pick these up basically a lot on Amazon or places like that. And then the last little bit here that I have is more, and this is American, um, is more about, uh, more like a review or extra little guidance if it's needed. And so even though it says grade three up here, this could be used by older students. Heck, even a high school student could use it because if they're not understanding fractions, this is a really great book for that. It's very thin. I think it's what, 36 pages. And so it just breaks down exactly what fractions are and um, gives them a really good understanding of it. So if your children are struggling with a certain topic when it comes to math, look into these. These are fantastic and just put a sticker over grade three because um, this breaks it down so well. And then another company that's really, really great for giving you that kind of a push are these little ones from Carson DeLosa. And so this one is an introduction to geometry. Again, if, you, if you've got a high schooler or um, upper elementary, just put a sticker over that because this gives a really good explanation of geometry. And there's several other ones like this of different topics. And here's a pre-algebra one. Again, sticker it if you must. It's just a really great way to reinforce it. So um, aside from that, we have, you know, different games that we'll play. Um, you can play uh, Uno because it deals with numbers. Um, what other games deal with numbers? There's so many of them. Anything that kind of has numbers as its focal point can really help um, when it comes to math because they're constantly seeing those numbers. Even just playing regular old bingo really helps too. So that is how we have math. Um, again, my children have to do minimum of four pages a, or five pages a day, whether it's a four day week or a five day week. And those pages can be picked amongst what I've shown you here, except for say the test ones, because those are something that I would give them every couple of weeks. But everything else is something that they can choose from to do their pages from. And like I said, most often than not, they're choosing more than just those five pages. So I hope this is a really good look in there. Sorry for the little blip halfway through. There was no way I was starting over a 10 minute video just because of the phone ringing. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And if there's anything in here that you want to see um, more clearly, like any of the books that I showed you, if you want to see into them a lot better, let me know and I can do a video on that specific book. Thank you for watching.